Hi there. I just want to send out a little information clarifying about Google Classroom. And one of the things that's happening is um, lots of you are sending your parents home the Google Classroom join code. So if I click right up here, I get this class code. And a lot of you are sending this home to parents uh, as the way that they would join Google Classroom. And actually, this join code is only for the students. So the students themselves, even the little ones, can only join Google Classroom in the actual classroom manner. So the other thing that will happen is um, this only will take Prairie Rose emails. So if you're, if you find that your parents are a Hotmail or a Gmail or anything else, uh, that it won't accept them, um, that's exactly right. It's built to, to work that way. So for the actual class itself, your students with your student email, um, they can use this join code to join but you actually don't want to give this to the parents to join. And unless they're a Prairie Rose teacher with a Prairie Rose email, they won't be able to join this part. If you have had parents that have joined this part with their Prairie Rose email because they have been able to, you would want to probably delete them as students. What you do want to do to add parents is come up to people. And once you have um, your students in here, you are going to click on invite guardians and this is where you would type um, the gmail account and it would take a gmail account just fine in here and then when you press invite the parents will then get an email that asks them to accept an invitation to their child's google classroom if they have a gmail account so prairie rose gmail or just a regular gmail account um, they will get an option of having weekly, daily, or no parent updates. If they have a non-Gmail email address, so a TELUS or Hotmail or anything else, the default will be that they will get weekly updates. And so they won't actually be able to see the work that the kids are doing inside of Google Classroom. The updates uh, will allow them to get report of missing work, um, upcoming work and then class activity. So that's what your parents will be able to connect to. So just to review, um, if we go back to this main page here, parents cannot connect using this join code. This is only for students. Uh, parents, you will send an invite once the students have connected. Now, if you're still connecting kids kind of long distance and you've sent them that join code, um, their names will turn black and allow you to invite the guardians. If the student's name is still gray over here and it says invited, you will not be able to actually um, send the in parents an invite until the student has put that join code in. So I hope that clears up some things. Um, in the emails that I sent out yesterday about Google Classroom, um, this invite guardians was not working. So if, you're, if you sent um, invite guardian invites, sorry, out before approximately two o'clock on March 17th, it will say that the, in, the guardian is invited, but we believe that those emails, none of them went through. So what you would do in that case is come over here, um, you would get a removal option. So you would remove the guardian and then you would re-invite them. I would recommend that you copy the email before you remove them because then you can just paste it back in. So, um, those are some Google Classroom updates.